Man, so we're gonna talk about something that shouldn't be affecting men in the first place. Go ahead and get these out. So, like a plague, there are certain things that when we release them within the world, they run rampant. One being our sexual nature, you know? Uh, when you release pornography, for example, it becomes a drug. You, uh, you progressively adapt, you need more of it, etc. What I'm aiming at today is the problem of feelings within our world and how they become an idol and why it is necessary in order to uh, become our fullest selves that we prevent this. Um, that we do the forthright things within our lives instead of allowing feelings to dictate and build our world for us. Um, this is something that most men that come to me for uh, coaching struggle with. And it's something that uh, is a common struggle that every single man has to deal with every single waking moment of every single day. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't get stronger. That's the thing. The struggle always stays the same. It's about us developing within and getting stronger as a byproduct. So I'm not sure where to look at on this camera if it looks a little strange. I got the camera on this side, but I think it receives my direct eyesight now because this is the iPhone 13. Exquisite, but... <laughs> Anyway, no, uh, this iPhone can become an idol. A feeling can become an idol. Uh, you know, people worship a lot of things. People idolize gods, you know. Uh, the whole reason that the Bible originally didn't want tattoos in a certain area of the world was because they were representing false gods. That was the only reason. Why is this such a, a, a theme, a recurring thing? that we notice that we need to break throughout generations. Why, why is effeminacy at the root? This is, this is really effeminacy. The subversion is of what is right and true for what is false and pleasurable. Why is this like the bottom of the pyramid of all layers of issues within not only men, but our world as a whole? Why, why, does, why is this a recurring theme? Why are the 80 cycles of history, hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times? Why is that true? It's because of effeminacy. It's because of the things in our world that are designed to distract and destroy us that have perpetuated this effeminacy. Um, and that's why we're seeing so many people today that are idolizing so many random things, like pornography, for example. The, uh, the number one thing that I work with men directly with uh, repairing and preventing the pervasive problems caused by pornography and it becomes an idol. It ruins and rules men's lives. And this is truly a problem because when we implement an idol such as this within our life and we're unconsciously worshiping it in this way, we are directed toward addiction. We have momentum and our devotion directed toward addiction rather than devoting ourselves to something that will bring our true creative fruition to, to life. And, and something that will give us the blessings that God provides through abiding by his commandments within our lives. This is what we've lost. The connection to ourselves, men, the connection to ourselves, ladies, if you're here, the connection to what it is that makes us human beings. We're not human doings. We're not human thinkings. We're not human... Uh, whatever we do now, we're, we're human beings. And why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? It's because we're meant to be. You know, there's a law in quantum physics. Now, a lot of people will think this is elusive, but it's called the law of pure potentiality. And now this law describes that anything beyond our conceptual imagination has the ability to instantaneously manifest beyond our wildest imaginations, whether it be through revelation or whether it be through situation. Now, the only way to tap into this law of pure potentiality is to be free of all addictions, indulgences, and distractions and, 